Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lednab Gaming. Today we're talking about how CIG sells their ships and how you could get your dream ship. Odds are, if you're a newer citizen of the verse, you might be wondering how to get that cool ship you've been watching ship review videos of, or that you see us always talking about. Sure enough, you head over to the pledge store and it's not there. Sound familiar? Now I've had a few comments wishing I'd cover in-game sales and not just real cash sales, and don't worry, I'll be covering those in another video, and if you need, this video is broken into chapters and you can click on the destination you need. So, that dream ship. Well, if it's an RSI Perseus, you're in luck, because Led's Legion has completed voting on the 10k giveaway ship, and, you guessed it, the Perseus was the winner. Here are the five names from March who will enter the drawing when the channel hits 10,000 subs. If you want to be in the drawing, make sure to comment on videos and be subscribed. Full details in the description below. If, however, you're looking for something that isn't a Perseus, well, it's a little more complicated. First, we'll need to sort out a few terms. When you hear War Bond, it means paid for with cold hard cash, which for most viewers is probably the means you were already thinking of using. This will make a little more sense here in a minute. Credit means using credit on hand from CIG, which is usually from melting or returning ships you've already purchased. These offerings are different from War Bond offerings. Insurance and lifetime insurance is a whole different kit and caboodle that we won't be covering today other than to make mention in places such as when things come up. The last three are concept, flyable, and straight to flyable. Concept means the ship is in its concept phase. The data knows what CAG has told us, we have pictures of it, but you can't get in one yet, you can't fly around in the verse with it. This is what happens when a ship becomes flyable. Literally, when a ship is in the verse, it can be flown or boarded by players. Sometimes ships combine these two, and they're known as straight to flyable, which simply means out of the blue, CIG introduces us a vehicle that you can immediately buy and play with in the verse. Examples recently of this would be the Nomad and the Rock. All ships go through the same sales cycle, which determines their availability and pricing. First, you have a concept sale. This is when CIG announces a new, never before heard of ship. Concept sales are important for two reasons. First, it will be the only time LTI is likely to be offered, and second, it will be the cheapest the ship has ever sold. Concept sales last 30 days. CIG doesn't always tell you the exact date it will end, but the sales are always 30 days, so you can generally bank on a month of availability. After that 30 days, the ship's no longer sold openly. You'll have to wait for the next sale opportunity, which will be the release sale. As the name implies, this is when the ship is actually put into the game, as flyable. At present, for example, we're waiting for the release of the Hercules Starlifters, the C2 and the M2, and when they go live in the verse, they will again be on sale for 30 days. Now the release sale usually includes a price hike, and the sale will also usually feature some sort of bonus package that's oftentimes war bond only. Again, this means you must pay new money to CAG for the package, which might have LTI, or have multiple ships, or extra goodies as incentives. After the release sale ends, the ship is once again no longer available on the store. Fear not, Thank you. you've not missed out. There are two more sale types to be aware of, semi-annual sales and monthly promo sales. There are two sales every year in which most, if not all, of the catalog of ships are available. The most popular is IAE, or the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo which is a week-long sale at the end of November which the entire catalog of Star Citizen ships are sold. IAE features manufacturer days, so day one might be Drake Day, when all of the Drake ships go up for sale, followed by Crusader Day, when all the Crusader ships are sold. The specific rules change every year, but generally after the manufacturer's day, their product remains on sale, so if Drake was day one, you can buy Drake ships the whole time. If RSI day is day 6, you can only buy those ships starting day 6 until the end of the show. Now the expo is a week long, but the sale tends to stretch about 10 to 14 days outside the verse. CIG will always give the schedule and rules out in advance, so don't worry too much about those changes now. 
The other catalog sale is the upcoming Invictus Week. Now this was just introduced last year in 2020 as a sale, and it's a little more wonky than IAE. During Invictus Week, there is again an inverse expo. However, during the week, only UEE defense manufacturers sell their products, and usually only defense products. So the full catalog isn't really open, but fear not. Directly following Invictus Week is Alien Week, which, as you might have guessed, is when all the alien ships are sold. Banu, Kartual, Spiria, and so on. Drake is not a defense contractor for the UEE, so they're not included in Invictus Week. But they hold their own convention at the same time, or right after, when their products will be on sale. The full catalog may not be sold at Invictus, but almost all the ships actually are. This will be the second year this is an actual real sale, and not only an in-lore event, so the rules could change here too. Speaking of rules, we have a few more terms worthy of knowing, and that's stock and hull limited ships. Not every ship is perfectly available at these sales. For example, certain variants of ships like the Idris will never be sold again. There are only a handful of javelins owned by players, and CAG does not have plans to sell more, outside of some incredibly expensive packs. Other ships like the Kraken are stock limited, meaning CAG only sells a certain number of these each year. At IAE on Drake Day, the Krakens will be sold in waves. These are the F5 wars you've heard of, and as the time is published for each wave, when the clock hits, if you want one, your payment info better be preloaded and that F5 key smashed until you get one in the cart. Not everyone's successful. Stock limited are exactly what the name implies, a limited number of them available. There's also hull limited, which don't have a total number sold limit, but cannot be upgraded to and or purchased non-war bond, for example. These rules are almost always only for large, expensive, special ships. At the same time, some stock limited ships are not hard to get because the demand has been met. They're still, however, limited. Another important rule to understand here is the $1,000 rule. If a ship costs more than $1,000, you will get it with LTI automatically, no matter when you buy it, as long as it was on sale. Ships under $1,000 only carry LTI at their concept sales, on special packages, or special releases. The last sale, of course, is the promo sale. Each month, CAG features a ship or a group of ships. One month it might be the 100 series, another the Reliance. If you're a subscriber or you follow the news, whatever the subscriber ship for the month is, that is the ship of the month, and therefore sold. Oftentimes there will be additional promotions for holidays or just the time of year that certain groups of ships are sold. Like I mentioned, the Reliance are typically sold in the spring for a couple weeks. Generally, however, monthly promo ships are almost always flyable ships only. So, what's that mean for trying to find that special ship you really want? Well, is that ship still a concept, or is it flyable in the verse? Again, concepts are generally only sold at the semi-annual concept and release sales. Flyable ships are sold in monthly promos, semi-annual sales, as well as in the verse for UEC. That means you might have to be patient, waiting for those sales to be ready. There is also the option of the gray market to buy ships from other players at your own risk, and you can utilize the different sales and cross-chassis upgrade system to do a sort of layaway program for your ships that you don't have the money for today. One of the best untapped resources I want to encourage new players to check is Orgs and Friends. A good number of players who've been in the verse a while usually have a graveyard of pledges in their buyback. If you're looking for a ship, it doesn't hurt to ask friends or org mates if they have one they'd sell you. You might be surprised. It's just another good reason to check out orgs in Star Citizen if you're new to the verse. Down in the comments, let me know what ships you're looking to pick up at this upcoming Invictus Week sale. Like and share this video with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all next time. <laughs>